got, I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty inside my DNA. Cocaine quarter piece, got war and peace inside my DNA. I got power, poison, pain, and joy inside my DNA. I got hustle, though, ambition, flow inside my DNA. I was born like this, this one like this. Immaculate conception, not transformed like this, perform like this. Was y'all she was new weapon? I don't contemplate. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, hey, girl, hey. Thank you for stopping by today because I'm about to show you how to slay a wig in under an hour. So, you guys, this is the cap that I'm using. This is pretty much the cap that I always use. So, um, you guys will not see this wig on my head because it is for my mom. This hair that I'm using is from Ally Pearl. It is two bundles of their 10-inch Brazilian straight. Um, yeah, y'all know I've worked with Ally Pearl before, but my mom purchased this hair with her own coins. So let's get into it. I'm using my canvas block head, a 21 inch. That is the smallest one that I have. So I'm gonna start off by sticking my needle through the fabric of my cap and through the closure. And I'm going to take my needle and put it in between the thread. So y'all will see me opening up the thread and sticking it through there like that. And then that creates a knot around my needle four times to make a knot and that just reinforces what I just did so if you guys want like a super super detailed version of how I sew down my closures please refer to the eye in the corner um, that is a super detailed wig making video that I did last year um, if y'all want an updated one let me know um, and I'll also leave that in the description box So yeah, I'm just going to continue to sew down the closure. Just make sure that it is nice and flush to your cap. Now I'm doing the same thing to the back. I have already done the other side of the closure. So just continue to do that and then I will be back when it's time to start high gluing the tracks. Once you got your closure down, girl, that is the hardest part of this wig and high gluing it will be a breeze, I promise. All right, y'all, so here is my mom's cap looking like Frankenstein's baby. Do not mind it. I'm using my hot glue gun. I'm going to apply the glue and place the track over top of the glue, and you want to make sure that you press the track down. That is going to secure it and make sure that the track does not move. And yes, I did cut these tracks um, because my mom wanted like a sleek bob. Use the hot glue gun method, it almost seals the tracks for you, so you should not have any problem with shedding. So, I'm placing my tracks in an upside down U um, formation, and I got that tip from Ivy Powell. I think her channel name is Ivy Deer, but I'll leave her link down below. So, I love doing my tracks like this because it lays super, super flat. So, as you guys can see, I'm doing it right now, putting it and putting my glue. In that U shape, and I'm gonna follow my track right on top of that and press it in to make sure it's secure. That is all you have to do, y'all. It's so simple, you can do it super quick because don't nobody got time for sewing wigs all the time. So, if you are on a time crunch, this is the way to go. And yeah, if y'all don't have nails, then do not burn your fingers trying to do this. Get a comb and press the tracks in. And as you guys can see right here, I'm not laying the tracks directly on top of each other. I'm leaving a little bit of like a finger space in between to make sure that it's not too bulky.
All right, so right here I'm just showing y'all. I found like a piece of straw or hay. I really don't know what it was, but it was inside the track. And that, you know, kind of raised the eyebrow because I was trying to figure out why it was there. I definitely did not have this experience when they previously sent me here. So, yeah, just saying. So, um, yeah, I also found a red thread in the other bundle. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. All right, so now I learned this trick from my booze, me and Maya, the Pitts twins. They take a Sharpie marker to cover up this glue. So I definitely use that tip this time around um, just to cover up, you know, that extra glue residue. If you get glue in the hair, you can just comb it out after it dries. So I just quickly ran through the hair and flat ironed it. And as you guys can see, the hair did have some um, flyaways. So yeah that was kind of annoying to have flyaways and like the hair shaft of the hair but um i still worked around it i did record myself customizing this closure for my mom how i bleached it and um, plucked the hairline and all that so be on the lookout for that video i will say that the hair was really really shiny and really really soft and had plenty of body like it was not stiff whatsoever And right here, I'm showing you guys these flyaways in the closure. Like, I've never seen flyaways this short in a closure. That was really annoying, and I was not feeling that at all. So, just keep that in mind as well. So, I had to pull out my handy dandy hot comb to get it laid and slate, okay? Like, you can flat iron as much as you want, but I'm telling you that hot comb will get you all the way together to get your whole life. Your closure will be laid, sis, okay? Laid. So, um, yeah, I just put my hot comb on the stove for a minute, let it heat up not too hot, and went over the entire closure area. And y'all can see that it lays it down flat. So, like I said, this wig was for my mom, and I'm sorry I did not get any clips or footage with the wig on her head she was rushing to the airport today so i'm so sorry about that but i hope this video was still helpful to you guys let me know if it was down below thank you guys so much for watching do not forget to comment rate and subscribe and i will catch you on my next video thank you so much for watching i got realness i just kill shit cause it's in my dna i got millions i got riches building in my dna i got dark i got evil that rotten